new job. It's uh, I've been on there for about three weeks now, and, it, and uh, the company is uh, is a fantastic company. And uh, I've known Vion for quite a few years, uh, back in my military days with Indissa. Uh, Vion had provided services for the data center that I was at. Um, what I miss most about state government is really the people. Um, really had a good bunch of people in Pennsylvania, hardworking people, dedicated to the mission. Uh, really miss the you know the camaraderie of with that you know with them and, and just uh, the day to day interaction with them. So I, I do truly miss the people. Plan early. Um, we all know that uh, the CIO gig at the state level is uh, is, a, is a temporary job. We all know that whether it's four years, eight years, um, some are lucky enough to go past eight years, but that's that's not the norm. So with that in mind, you know, keep, you know, make sure you're you know, keeping your options open and, and just really um, look at the landscape of, of technology and just hone up your skill sets uh, because at one point you will be in my shoes and, and in the private sector at some point. There's a lot of things that I'm proud of uh, when I was uh, both CTO and CIO of Pennsylvania. Um, we really matured the, the security organization, security posture of, of Pennsylvania um, from 2008 to 2014, 15. Um, I, I would submit that we, are, we were the, one of the top states in the area of cybersecurity. Um, and, I, and again, it goes it's back to the people. But uh, we really uh, became a, a forethought for, for leader in cybersecurity. And then just recently, we've uh, moved Pennsylvania into the next level of, of cloud computing uh, with uh, consumption-based uh, computing with mainframes and, and, and open systems as well. So those are two areas that I'm very, very proud of because those are things that are going to lay a legacy for years to come, you know, long after I'm gone. Well, top three. Um, Obviously, cybersecurity has and always will, will be a top priority. Um, it, it was with me as CIO. Um, with the budget constraints, with, with the revenue, uh, with state governments, uh, you have to do more with less. That's really a, a term that's really misused a lot, but it's, it's so true. So anything that can do from a, some a cloud services perspective, because really states need to look at the cloud. Uh, for, for either software as a service or, or infrastructure as a service or platform as a service because that's where you're going you're gonna to save money because um, no longer can, can states afford to buy, uh, invest the capital investment of, of uh, hardware, uh, mainframes in particular, because they're just so expensive. All those things aren't going away. Uh, mobility is not going away. Uh, the new generation and millennials are coming in. You know, they're expecting to interface with, the, with their state government, with the federal government even as well, uh, you know, via mobile devices. They don't want to go to a, a building. They don't want to stand in line. So state government has to really facilitate their services and, and their offerings to, uh, to accommodate those, those desires. So that's really one thing that state government needs to really focus on in the near term. Um, but in addition to that, to provide those services, you know, you always have your back-end systems as well that you need to take care of. So again, there's the cloud. Uh, how, how can you leverage the cloud to provide those services? Things they don't know. Things that are happening on their network, they have no visibility. Somebody had asked me once, what keeps me up at night? And it's what I didn't know. Um, you know we, again, we had a very good security posture, layered defense in Pennsylvania. But the hackers are, have grown to really bypass those, those me measures, the antivirus, those type of things. It's the things that are non-signature based that are, con are disconcerting to me. And those are the things that keep me up, keep me, uh, keep, hopefully keep CIOs up at night right now. So really that perspective is from an advanced persistent threat. Uh, we really need to really take it to the next level. Well, continuing investing in cybersecurity, obviously, um, the people. Uh, cybersecurity uh, professionals are very hard to come by because they're in high demand across the board. And unfortunately, state government, uh, the way they pay, you know, the salaries are not conducive to, to keeping and attracting, you know, uh, young talent. So we really have to make state government more attractive in whatever ways you can. I mean, to me, serving the citizens of Pennsylvania was really what I loved doing. Um, that I, it, I came to work every day knowing that I was doing something uh, to the betterment of, of, of citizens of Pennsylvania. Um, cybersecurity, uh, again, cloud. Um, and I think that's really, you know, the top, those are enough. Those are enough to keep somebody busy.